this is a finished gray hoverman design antenna as far as i know it's a gray hoverman it has these squares these are seven inches from point to point to point on up and out here they have these outrider bends top hat and uh, I use aluminum this insulator is PVC lumber it's very popular you can get it in most home stores I use stainless steel washers and stainless steel screws this is going outside I, I start with an aluminum backbone and I build it from there this is a excellent antenna so I've taken my aluminum it's an aluminum tubing three-quarter inch square tubing and uh, I cut off a section 21 inches long that's what I need for this project now this is scrapyard aluminum it can have dirty spots whatever if you take some steel wool you can make it nice and shiny but I really don't care now that's 21 inches long here's a piece of the PVC um, it has a wood grain finish on one side it's hard to see there you go and uh, it's used as house trim this is two and three quarter by three quarters of an inch and it comes in eight foot long sections so uh, you pretty much have to buy eight feet of it I don't know anyone that sells short pieces now what I do when, when I cut the aluminum for my own sake I clean these edges up you just take a file don't use steel wool don't use sandpaper it'll tear it up you need a file and just file them down file inside this keeps you from tearing your fingers and your hands up and uh, be careful with your filings and stuff you don't want to get that in your hands or in your eyes you need to be careful okay this piece is 21 inches long and I'm going to come from the end and I'm using this old yardstick because it's here and I make a mark at a half an inch and I go on the other end and I'm going to make a mark again at a half an inch now these are the insulators I cut this it's one inch wide out of the PVC block it's one inch wide when I set this flush with the top of the aluminum piece I want my screw to be exactly centered on that half inch mark and I'll show you how to do this take your square any kind of square and just make a square line Now from there, if you don't have a square like this, you may want to get one. I'm going to go three-eighths of an inch because that's half of three-quarters. And that brings me to the center. And that's not three-eighths of an inch because I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. And that's three eighths of an inch. And same thing on this end. This is an awl, a center punch. It makes holes in things. I'm going to take this. Okay, you can't see. I'm just going to. That makes it so my drill bit won't dance around 
on the shiny aluminum. You're not trying to punch a hole. Just make a little indentation so you can set your screw bit, uh, drill bit in there and drill it out. The next mark is at 10 inches. And I come down from the line I just made at a half an inch and I measure exactly 10 inches and make a line. And you check yourself by making sure it's 10 inches to the other line. And I'm off by just a hair. So somewhere right in there. And we do the same thing. We center this up. And once again, we take this nifty little thing. And make a mark. That way we're getting started. We can drill our holes for the insulators. On the insulators I want to come in three-eighths of an inch and make a line from the ends. Make a line. Now, I also want to reset to a half an inch carefully and make a cross line at a half an inch. And I want to get one in the center here because you need that in the center. I can't see today. Okay, so we're close. Um, you need three of these insulators. I've only cut one. I'm running out of material. This is all I have out of eight feet. I use it for all my antennas. In the center, you're going to punch a hole. And at the mark on the outside edges, you're going to punch another hole. And you're going to punch another hole on the other outside edge. This gives you something to drill by. They don't have to be perfect because the center hole is going to decide your alignment. That's going to go right there. And that's going to decide your alignment through your antenna. Okay. Now it's time to drill. Okay, I just happen to have this handy little workmate and this has been a very handy tool for 30 years and I can put things in there and keep it tight it's a vise it's a bench it does a lot of things and I'm making a commercial for them but it's it's a good product and uh, if you don't have something like this you need a vise or you need some way to hold this down okay I have a 964 drill bit. I'm using number 12 screws. I want everything to be very tight. So this is a little smaller than what you would normally use. Now, in the center hole, I drill this all the way through. That's all there is to it. You don't drill the outside holes. You want this is where the elements will mount. You want that to be as tight as possible. That's a mark, that's a starter for the screws that will go in there later. Okay, that is number one. Second, second step is I take this quarter inch drill bit and I have a mark. There are collars that stop, you need a way to stop. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to countersink and I get that lined up on my hole. And I just let it do its work. And you're just trying to go a quarter of an inch or so. I mean, it's you're just trying to go a little bit. There's my mark. I set it in there. It did its job. That gets the screw head down tight. 
it gets it below the surface so nothing can connect to it. I've marked my metal. Now it's time to drill. I'm going to drill through the top of the aluminum, not all the way through. I've drilled the three holes for the insulators to mount and now I'm going to drill two more holes with a quarter inch bit. These holes go all the way through. This is for the mounting bolt for the reflector and uh, I'll explain that better later but right now I'm going to drill this all the way through. For the insulators to hold that screw tight, this is a 9 64th hole. Um, work close. You just want to drill smaller than your screw so your sheet metal screw holds tight. These holes are a quarter of an inch. They're for holding a long bolt, a long quarter inch bolt. This mounts the element backbone to the reflector backbone. There are two reflector or two backbones in this uh, antenna setup. There are two of those holes, one up, one here and one here. They're in between where the uh, where the insulators mount. This is just for convenience. So we have a nice piece of three quarter inch aluminum with some nice holes. The small holes are just drilled through the top. The larger holes are drilled all the way. And uh, our aluminum is ready. Here's one I took apart to show to speed this up a little bit. But here's my part. I start the screw. I generally like to get it a little deeper. That way it, it sticks out, gives you something to grip onto. Now you put that on there and line it up, and now the fun part. Don't use a drill for this. Use your hands. Use a good screwdriver. And don't try to go crazy with it. Just make it tight. So that's good and tight. And it's on and it's recessed. And it's a very nice piece. That's your insulator. There are three of them. Okay. So the insulators are mounted. Where they go. The holes are started. These are countersunk. I take a number 12 screw and what I've been using is two washers. A small one and a larger one. This is a quarter inch and the other one is a number 10. And it fits this quite nicely. Let me just start that. And uh, get your screwdriver on there. And once again, don't use a drill. You'll strip this out and it'll ruin your project. And you need to do that for all six of these holes. Okay, so here we have the completed back, backbone with the insulators all ready to go. The next part involves the copper. That'll be in a separate video. So look for that soon.
Uh, this was a lot simpler than you think. You just need to take your time, need to measure carefully, and everything will come out well. Good luck.